If you've ever wanted to get custom songs or mods for Beat Saber, then this is the video for you. This is the most comprehensive tutorial I've ever done, and it'll cover everything you need to know about modding Beat Saber on the Oculus Quest. Now, this guide works with the Oculus Quest 1 or 2, or Meta Quest, whatever you want to call it, but this does not work with the Steam version or PC version of Beat Saber. There's a different tutorial for that. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to completely mod Beat Saber on your Quest to allow you to get custom songs so you can play a huge library different songs in your quest and to get custom mods so you can do a bunch of really fun stuff and play different cool songs as well. But to do this you'll need a little bit of patience and about 20 minutes of your time. Modding Beat Saber on quest isn't the super easiest thing but it's so worth it. But before we dive in I'll have to cover some important info for modding Beat Saber. First of all once you mod Beat Saber you cannot update it. So if Beat Saber released a new update with different music packs or features then you cannot update that if you still want mods to work and you can still update if you want to check out those new features but then you'll have to downgrade it again if you want to get those mods back but I'll go over that a little bit later the other thing is that modding Beat Saber is against the terms of service so the game will prompt you regularly to say this isn't official you need to restore your game but it's absolutely fine to mod Beat Saber on your quest no one has ever gotten in trouble no one has ever gotten banned and hundreds and thousands of people have used my tutorials in the past to mod Beat Saber and have never had any issues but in saying that, you are modding at your own risk, so it's up to you what you want to do. Modding Beat Saber also makes multiplayer oh. stop working. There are mods that allow you to play multiplayer with other modded versions of Beat Saber, but if you want to play multiplayer in a public lobby, then unfortunately you won't be able to do that with mods installed. And the other part of modding is that it can be buggy, so you may experience extra lag or crashes or just issues, so that's the risk when you're modding anything, so that's just something to be conscious of. Because the mods and updates are always changing, the information in regards to this video may change over time, so I always recommend check the pinned comment down below. I'll have the most up-to-date, relevant information in regards to this guide about whether it's working and whether it's all up to date so make sure to check that before we dive into the rest of the tutorial but if you're ready to mod Beat Saber on your quest we need to make sure we have everything we need first up you need your quest of course make sure it's fully charged and that the software is all up to date and then you need a Wi-Fi connection because that's how we talk to our quest and you will need access to a computer to mod your quest you can do it from an Android phone and I'll leave a link in the description on how to do that but I don't have one so I can't walk you through it but ideally you you want access to a computer you don't need access to a computer all the time for this maybe try and access one for about an hour so you can do this modding process and unfortunately this doesn't work with a Chromebook you'll also need a phone with the oculus or meta app installed already that you've used to set up your quest in the first place also you'll need to be the owner of an account that's already installed on the quest because we're going to have to do some admin changes and you'll also need access to a phone number so you can verify your account details you'll also need a link cable essentially a cable that has USB-C at one end and either USB 3.0 or USB-C at the other end that can plug into your PC. It'll help if this is a high speed cable, so you can try to use the cable that already came with your Quest, or you may be able to use a spare phone cable lying around. Not all cables will work, so it's good to have a few options, otherwise I have a link for you down below if you want to purchase one. Now we've got that all out of the way, it's time to get modding. But first, a quick message from today's sponsor. If you're like me and always forget to charge your Quest, then you need the Nexago Enhanced Charging Dock for the MetaQuest 2. It allows you to easily charge your quest so you don't have to worry about cables or batteries. It comes with a magnetic adapter that slots into your quest so when you place it on the dock it automatically starts charging. The light turns orange while charging then turns blue to let you know it's fully charged and if you don't like lights you can just press the icon at the front to switch off the light. It also comes with rechargeable batteries for your controller and a charging cover for the dock. So when you place it in the dock, your controllers automatically start charging. It's also designed to work with the Elite Strap with battery pack, so you can place the charging adapter in the back of the head strap and charge your Quest that way. I absolutely love my Nice2Go charging dock. I know my headset's always charged and it's such a big help. You can check out the link in the description to learn more about the Nice2Go dock. But now it's time to head back to the video. So now it's time to access our computer and download a program called SideQuest. This program is what allows us to install unofficial apps onto our Quest, so we will need this to mod Beat Saber. I have a download link for you down below, and SideQuest will give you an option of an easy install or an advanced install. For this, we will need the advanced install option. If there's only one option, that's fine, just download that one. 
Once we open up SideQuest, at the top of the screen, in the left-hand corner, it'll say Open Setup Instructions. This is a really good guide to follow so we know what steps we still have to do. So first, we have to create a developer account with Oculus so we can bypass all the default features. We'll need to go into Oculus's developer website. I have a link for you down below. And we'll need to follow the prompts there to create an organization. You'll need to accept the developer agreement and then verify your account using either a credit card or a phone number. So if you enter your phone number, it'll send you a verification text. So once that's all done, we can move on to the next step, which involves using our phone. From here, we'll need to open the Meta app, make sure it's up to date, and then navigate to the menu option in the right hand corner. Then we want to select devices. And then if you scroll down the page, there will be an option there that says developer mode. If we select that, there's a toggle that we can switch on. If it's not there, check the previous settings, otherwise it's there, then we've all set up for a developer account. We'll then need to plug your Quest into your PC with that cable that I mentioned earlier. And then we'll need to put on our Quest and it should pop up with a prompt on the screen that says allow USB debugging. So we want to select always allow on this computer. And if everything worked, then we should have all green lights in our setup page in SideQuest. Otherwise, it'll tell you which step you are missing. So then you'll need to then troubleshoot that step. But if it shows green in the top left hand corner of the page, then we're all good to go and we move on to the next step. So in this step, this is where things can get a little bit complicated. So because mods are only designed to work with certain versions of Beat Saber, whenever there's a Beat Saber update, it makes all the mods not work with that update. So a lot of the time we have to downgrade our version of Beat Saber to make sure it's a version that's compatible with the mods that are available. Though this isn't always the case, but most of the time you're gonna to have to downgrade your version of Beat Saber. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that now. But first, make sure to check the pin comment down below because I will let you know there whether you have to downgrade or not. Otherwise, follow along and I'll show you how to downgrade your version of Beat Saber. If you've also got a previous version of Beat Saber that you've already modded, then you'll need to use this step as well to update your Beat Saber version. But keep in mind, doing this will remove any score data you have with Beat Saber. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to make sure that you're backing up all your score data in Beat Saber. So to downgrade, we'll need to open up SideQuest again and we'll need to navigate to the apps icon to the top right hand corner. This looks like a bunch of squares in a block. So once we click on that, we then want to navigate to where it says Beat Saber in the list. And then we want to click on the cog to the right. Once we click on the cog, we'll have a few options there. One of them is to back up Beat Saber. I recommend doing this anyway, just in case. And then from there, we want to choose uninstall Beat Saber. So click on that and then it'll go through a few prompts and then it's done. So now we've removed Beat Saber, we want to install an old version of Beat Saber. So we then want to head to questmodding.com and open up this web page. And at the top of the page, there'll be an option that says how to downgrade. So click on that and it'll go through a couple of prompts that we've already talked about. But in the second step, it'll get us to log into oculus.com. Logging into the Oculus website is what confirms your existing purchase of Beat Saber. So click on the Oculus link and make sure you're all logged in. You can tell if your profile's in the top right hand corner. And if it is, go back to the modding page. And in the third step, there'll be an option to download an older version of Beat Saber. At the time of making this video, that version is 1.24, but in the future, it could be different. So we wanna download that Beat Saber version. So now we've downloaded the older version of Beat Saber, we wanna open up SideQuest again, and we wanna find the file we just downloaded. And what we wanna do is drag and drop that into SideQuest in the top left-hand corner where the icon is, and it should give you a prompt about installing that APK. So drag and drop that, and then that will then install the older version of Beat Saber onto your Quest. Once it shows that it's installed, we have then successfully downgraded Beat Saber, and now it's finally time to actually mod Beat Saber. So install the modding software for Beat Saber, we have to search for a program called BMBF in SideQuest. So if you type that in the search bar, it should show up with an icon that's like a unicorn. And then we wanna click on that and choose the download app icon. Once BMBF shows that it's installed, we can then unplug our Quest from our PC, and then we wanna put our Quest on and navigate from there. So on our Quest, we then wanna to navigate to the app section, which is a bunch of blocks in the bottom right-hand corner. So we wanna select on that so we see all our games. So from here, we wanna to navigate to the top of the page to the drop-down bar, and we wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says unknown sources. So once we select on unknown sources, we should see an option there that says BMBF. So we wanna click on that and then that will take us through the modding process. Once BMBF opens up, it'll give us a bunch of reading to do and it's important that you read through that so you don't miss anything. And then we wanna start going through the prompts to mod Beat Saber. It'll get us to uninstall Beat Saber, then patch Beat Saber, and then it'll pop out with a bunch of important info. Most importantly, we wanna make sure we select done and not open after installation. And if we get any errors, we wanna make sure we select wait 
and not close. If you also get any permission prompts or anything, make sure to allow them because it will need that to run as well. This can take a little bit of time, so don't stress if it's taking a while to load. From here, I'll then open up the BMBF software. And if you modded in the past, you should get a prompt about restoring your old songs. But from here, then we should be all done. So in the top right hand corner, you can select sync to Beat Saber and that'll just sync all the mods and everything to your app. And then you can select start Beat Saber to load up the game. But first, we probably want to install some custom songs. There's two different ways, well technically three, to install custom songs. So I'm going to go through a few of them now. But the way I like to install custom songs is within BMBF, navigate to the browser tab at the top of the screen. And then this will open up the website bsaber.com. This website is a huge catalog of custom songs. And from here, you're able to search for any songs you want or see what's most popular for the week or month or however you want to search. The best thing about this website is that it also gives you a rating. So if it has lots of thumbs up, it usually lets you know that the song's pretty fun to play. So if you want to download a song, we want to click on the little cloud icon with the down arrow, and then that will start to download the song to your Beat Saber. So you can go through and download a bunch of songs. And when you're happy with that, we want to then click sync to Beat Saber in the top right hand corner. So let it sync and do its thing. And then you can press start Beat Saber if you want to go play those songs. The second way to install custom songs is from within the Beat Saber game itself. So if we go to open up Beat Saber, you do it from within BMBF or the app screen. Now this is where you will get some warnings about Beat Saber. It'll either tell you you have to update or that you have to restore. We want to make sure that we don't do those things. When it says update, just choose ignore or when it says restore, just choose open app. We definitely don't want to do those things because if you accidentally do, you'll have to do all the modern steps all over again. So we want to be careful about not clicking those options. So if your Beat Saber was modded correctly on the right hand side, you should see a notice board about any modding announcements. And then the left hand side, we should see a page that says mods. And one of the options here will say more songs. And if we select more songs, we then get a window where we can search for different custom songs. So you can either type in a particular song you want, or you can use the navigation on the left hand side to search for different categories. But this is a nice easy way to download custom songs but you don't really get to see what the ratings are of these songs, so it can be a bit hit or miss, but it's a nice quick way. So if you wanna choose a song, you just write in the one you want and choose download, and then that should be available in your library. To access your custom song library, you'll need to navigate to your solo page, and then there's a little icon with like an arrow thing. That's where you'll find all your custom songs. But if you do see a song that doesn't let you play it, it probably means you're missing mods that you need to play that song. And you can press the little question mark and it'll tell you which mods you are. Are missing. But don't worry, I'll walk you through how to install mods in just a moment. So we want to open up BMBF again. To remind you where it is, it's under app. And then we want to select our drop down menu and navigate to unknown sources and then select BMBF. And from here, we see a few different tabs along the top. And then we have the tools tab. So this is really useful, again, if you're having issues with your Beat Saber. But in this tab, there's a feature here that will help us get more mods for Beat Saber. So the top right hand corner, it'll have a server number and it'll say something like accessible via HTTP numbers, numbers, numbers. So we want to write that down or memorize it. And we want to type that into a web browser on our computer. So make sure you add the HTTP and also make sure all the numbers are correct. And once we type that in, and it should show up with a web page that looks like this, it'll have a box saying upload files. To download mods, the easiest way is to go to questmodding.com. And along the top in questmodding.com, there'll be an option there that says mod. And this is where we'll find a big list of mods that are compatible with the version of Beat Saber we're running. And if we're running a different version, there's a little drop down tab as well. So you can select different Beat Saber versions. So from this list, you can select download if you want to download any of the mods. I highly recommend downloading Chroma. It's a mod that makes the environments all rainbow, which a lot of custom songs use. And I highly recommend a mod called Noodle Extensions. If you've seen me play some really cool artsy maps, they're using a mod called Noodle. So if you wanna play those type of songs, you will need that mod. Another popular mod I get asked about is Cosmetics. So if you want custom sabers or blocks or walls, you'll need to download mods that say cosmetic something. So cosmetic whackers is for sabers, cosmetic boxes and cubes are for like walls and your blocks and things like that. So, so you need to download those cosmetic mods if you want those extra features. But if you want to download custom sabers or blocks, you will need to join the cosmetics discord. That's the only place you can download them. And there's a link on the quest modding page in the top right hand corner if you want to join the cosmetics discord, but I'll let you work that out for yourself. 
So to install our mods, we want to navigate back to our web browser page and we either want to drag or drop our mods into the square area or you can select it to manually choose which mods we want to include. And once you've added those mods, we then want to go sync to Beat Saber. In the bottom right hand corner, it'll give you a prompt saying this was completed or it'll give you an error. If you do get an error, I recommend trying that mod again because sometimes it just gets a bit iffy. But if we want to see that those mods worked, we can then navigate to the mods tab up the top and in the list there, it'll say whether whether they're installed or not. So if it didn't install, try again. Otherwise, it could be that it's not compatible with that version of Beat Saber. If you downloaded custom sabers or you wanna download custom songs from your PC, you can also use this method as well. And a reminder, if it doesn't work, make sure your quest hasn't gone to sleep and make sure you press sync to Beat Saber. You can also check the mods on your headset in BMBF as well to make sure they're all installed. And you can turn them off and on and delete them as well if you're having issues. And then from there, you should have Beat Saber mods. So in this video, Video, it helped you install custom songs for Beat Saber and also custom mods. If you were able to mod your game and get everything working, make sure to leave this like so that other people know that this is a useful video. I've tried to cover as much as possible in this video without making it too full on. So hopefully you found it helpful. If you do have issues with modding Beat Saber, I highly recommend joining the Beat Saber modding group. They're the number one place to get help for modding or the latest info. Or if you want to get even more mods, you can access them there as well. So a massive shout out to the Beat Saber modding community who put so much work into this for free and gives us the amazing ability to be able to play custom songs in Beat Saber. But always remember, the modding is a privilege, not a right. So if you do join the Discord, make sure to be polite. So thanks for watching this video. I have this playlist here which goes into details about more specific mods if you want to check that out. But for now, happy modding and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, a